what is up everyone welcome to my channel today we are doing an old-fashioned try on haul and it is all stuff i got from sephora listen <laughs> if you saw my sephora wish list video you guys kind of helped me narrow down what i was actually going to buy because my list like for the sale when it was going on was so long but I got my package in and now I thought, okay, we can breathe. The sale is over. You're not stressed about, should I buy something? Should I not? What should I buy? Like sales over. You can't save money anymore. <laughs> I think they have another one in the spring. So I'm being a little over dramatic. but my point is now it's time. We can just chill and try on some new makeup, see how it performs, see how I like it. I am jazzed because everything I got is something I was dying to try. So let's just do it. There are a couple things that you're not gonna see me try on because of what they are, like whether it's skincare or whatever. I'll show you those at the end. I was gonna start with it, but honestly, I'm jazzed to get some makeup on this face today. All right, so the first thing we are gonna test out today is from Shiseido. This is their Synchro Skin Radiant Lifting Foundation. So it has SPF of 30 and I got 130 opal. <laughs> you know how it goes, you're trying to guess your shade online, so I'm just like hoping this is anywhere near. So I already love the Shiseido Synchro Skin Concealer. That is one of my favorites. It is a magic concealer. It, it's it's just so good, you guys. It is that good. So it's one of the few I always say is worth the price tag. So I have very high hopes for this one. So it says, lift your skin with light adjusting radiance. It instantly adapts and responds to every light source to smooth and diffuse fine lines and create a luminous lifted effect on the skin. All day wear, weightless comfort, radiant finish, medium to full with buildable coverage. So I'm very excited. It does say to shake well. The packaging is kind of unique. I thought this would like twist off, but it's just a pump ready to go. Oh, okay. <laughs> Took me a minute. You do have to twist it to open it, then you can pump it. Cause I was like, wait a minute, if this is in your bag and like something presses down on it, that would suck. But that makes way more sense. This might actually be a pretty good match. It's very cold right now, like in this room. My fingers are freezing. Okay, that might be too much, to, assuming it does have more coverage, but I, I'm just too excited. Let's blend it in. Oh my gosh. Are you guys seeing what I'm seeing? <laughs> I gotta zoom you in. My skin has never looked that good. So without, with, excuse me, ma'am. <laughs> And not only is it like, okay, the boom coverage, like I do not need a second layer, but it has that glow and it's not glitter. It's not shimmer. It's just like, it's what I wish my skin looks like all the time, you know? And again, I did put a decent amount on, but I mean, I, I'm liking the way that looks, you know? It's just so fast. <sighs> Heavy breathing. The real test is going to be, how does this look on my nose? You know, I don't want to go too ham on that because my nose is like a war zone. My pores and my redness and my freckles are just like duking it out on there at all times. It looks pretty good. I like being quiet, like I don't wanna wake my nose up. Like it looks pretty good, right? Oh my gosh. My daughter's been really into me, like to any of us like doing voices for characters, you know, when we're reading a book. I mean, who wouldn't be into that? But my goofy voice is like, you know, like Mickey Mouse goofy is still pretty terrible. <laughs> you guys, what in the heck is this magic? I just feel like my skin looks so Good. I don't mean to brag because it's not me, it's the makeup. All right, I gotta slow myself down. I will put wear notes down below with how this looks by the end of the day because obviously this is the first time I've ever trying it. I just have not been this excited about a foundation in ever. I don't, <laughs> and this is not, I don't want you to think like, what the heck, she's spotting, they don't know who I am. I bought this with my own money. Like, oh my gosh, probably need to blend down my neck. I struggle with, and I, I wonder if you guys do too. I can get a foundation color that's like as close as possible to my skin, but because my skin throughout the day will fluctuate and it'll be like red sometimes and kind of splotchy, sometimes it won't be. And so I feel like if one foundation pulls a little yellow, it'll look super yellow compared to like my red neck and chest. And then at other times it looks too pink because this isn't as like red. So that is one thing I struggle with, especially when I'm watching footage back or I'm like looking in person in the mirror, it'll look like good. But in a footage, I just feel like it really can pull it out. And I'm like, I promise it looks better in person, but also you just can't find a perfect match when you're someone that just has redness that shows through on your skin elsewhere. You know what I mean? Anyway, that has nothing to do with this except for I'm just guys though. What? I was in a decent mood, but that just like elevated my mood times like 10. My first thought when I first put on my cheeks and was like, oh my gosh, in my head, I thought I'm wearing this on Christmas. <laughs> Isn't that weird? Like you ever be like, okay, this is the one I want to wear like on that, those kinds of special occasions wearing that bad boy on Christmas. All right. I did not get a new concealer, so I'm just going to throw one on and BRB. 
All right, just to conceal and brows, I use the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer, and then I use the Elf Wow Brow, always, every day. So before we go into some other face things, I wanna try this palette. So this is from Too Faced. I was mentioning in that Sephora, was it my recommendations? No, it would have been my wish list video. How I have not bought a Too Faced palette in years and years and years, and I have such a like wonderfully happy, nostalgic feelings towards like, their chocolate bar palettes and their, basically any of the palettes in this kind of packaging because they always smell good. I love, like their shimmer formula is my favorite and I'm just excited to own another one. So, oh my gosh, this is the Cinnamon Swirl palette. How pretty is that? I'm gonna smell it. It's actually not overpowering. I was ready for an overpowering scent. So it smells like cinnamon rolls, very lightly. That's good. And I'm pregnant, and so I feel like my sniffer is like wild and crazy. It's not overpowering for me. Like I'm having to get close, so I kind of like that it's not wildly scented. Anyway, look at these colors. The only ones I know I won't use, I bet you can say it with me, the purple one here. That like dark eggplant purple I might wear, but look at all those like lighter shimmers. I'm excited. <laughs> I don't even know where to start. All right, let's start with the shimmer on the lid as I always do. I wanna start with Frost Those Buns. Ooh, this is exactly the kind of formula I like. Oh my goodness gracious. They're creamy, but they're, they're like substantial. Like you put that shimmer on and it is on and it's pretty. <laughs> All right, we're gonna do this one. Frost Those Buns, baby. I kind of like that this is cinnamon swirl. Like, I like the idea of like holiday palettes and you guys know I typically buy one like each year. But my thing is I kind of like that this isn't, it kind of feels wintry and fally, but it's cinnamon rolls. So like really any time of year I can use that and it's not weird. Not that there's anything wrong with using like a holiday palette in the summer, but you know what I mean. So this definitely pulled a lot more gold than I expected. So I'm gonna grab Muffin Top right there. It's just so seamless, you know? And it's definitely a warm toned palette, but I do feel like it doesn't have to be like strictly warm tone. Like there's a couple of like cooler tones in here. I am just so jazzed about this. This Sugar Rush shade I wanna swatch looks really pretty. Oh, that's pretty. So gooey goodness here definitely didn't swatch the way I thought it would. It's not quite the same formula as like their shimmers that I'm used to like those. So that one, it's not a total dud, but it's not on par. So it's it's leaning towards a dud. But um, I'm gonna use their lightest shade here, Flower Power, just on the brow bone. I think it's more matte. And then I am gonna grab that Sugar Rush shade and just tap it. Not really changing it a ton, but it just, I feel like it lightened it up a little bit. I feel like there's so many directions I can go. Like this is one I'm, again, it's been a while since I felt this excited to play with like different color combinations. I'm gonna use Sweet and Spicy there, kind of in the outer area of my crease. It's not crazy darker than it. So I feel like that sometimes can be a nice little, tiny bit of darkness in the outer corner, but it's not super obvious, it's not super stark. And it's still shimmery too, so it blends in nicely to the other shimmers. Okay, I'm definitely getting some fallout. No surprise there. So I'm gonna recreate this on the other side and be right back. I think the reason I tend to love these palettes so much is because like obviously I did a very everyday for me neutral style look, but there's definitely room for playing and they're just easy to work with. Like they're, they're the easiest shadows in the world to blend. So wanted to give a shout out to the Too Faced palettes that are in this kind of packaging. I have not tried any of their other ones recently in other types. I do feel that their shadow quality differs. So that's why I'm specifically talking about this style. So yeah, wanted to mention that. If you have other favorites from Too Faced that you think I like that are in this style, let me know. I don't need to buy it like, ASAP Rocky, but I need maybe soon because I'm really getting like super excited about it. So I got a new liner based solely on the name of it. So it is from Urban Decay and it's one of their 24 seven eye pencils, which I've tried. I think they're amazing, super creamy, stay all day. But this one is their waterline eye pencil. I was like, oh, I would love to put that to the test. Now I typically, when I say waterline, I'm talking about the upper waterline, that's how I do my makeup, but I know a lot of you guys do it like on your lower lash line too, on that waterline. So, assuming, obviously it should be able to be used either way. Super creamy, just like all of their other pencils, same packaging, and they are ones that you sharpen. So, let's just see. Put it in my upper waterline. For me, the true test is, does it transfer down? If it does, 
doesn't pass the test for the waterline, right? I mean, that's the whole point. But also that you want it to stay all day. I mean, that's probably the biggest thing. The reason I like it in my waterline on my upper eye, and I did not realize this until a couple years ago, is that for me, I like the look where it's really dark at the base of the lash. I just feel like it looks like kind of like Bambi eyes. And by doing that, if I only did liner on top and then mascara, it can still look nice. But the second you fill in that waterline portion, it thickens that area and darkens it just that little bit more that makes it look even more like Disney princess Bambi like, you know what I mean? What I typically do when I have just those extra few minutes is I'll do this. But if I have a little bit more time, I'll grab liquid liner and kind of do that, which is what I'll do in a second. But so far, it's not transferring down. Went to the dentist this morning and we took our three-year-old and it was her very first dentist appointment. And she was so brave. <laughs> it was one of those things that I woke up nervous, like not for myself, cause it's just a cleaning, you know, but nervous for her because I'm like, okay, like this is her first experience ever doing this. Like she, we've shown her some shows like Daniel Tiger and, and talked about it and stuff, but we went and they were so lovely cause they let her like sit on my lap, which was huge. So she just watched me get my teeth clean at like close range. So she could really get an idea of like, you know, what to expect. Then she got hers done and they let her sit on my lap still and kind of lay back while they did hers. And she was very happy, but she was super jazzed because this office is just amazing. They uh, let her, or they gave, you know, a, a kid's toothbrush, kid's toothpaste at the end to her. And she was able to pick and they had a pink Disney princess one. and that like she took it out of the wrapper in the car she's carrying it into our house like walking around like she was so jazzed about it, it was so sweet so it's so funny that at this age the littlest kind of not dumbest but kind of dumbest things absolutely like make them so excited so i'm just gonna throw on the rare beauty liquid liner okay trying to wipe the waterline eyeliner off. I've been scrubbing it with a makeup wipe. It took a hot minute to get it off. So that might be promising for staying in the waterline, you know? So the mascara I want to use is from, where is it? Fenty Beauty, but I got two kits and they have so many kits y'all. <laughs> it is like comically overwhelming how many kits they have. And I did do a video on just their kits and gift sets of like what I really think are the best and what I think are not great, like not a great value, whatever. I'll link that video because it's a little overwhelming. If you get on there and you're like, oh, I'm gonna, I wanna ask for one kit for Christmas or whatever, it's overwhelming. But these are the two I landed on. I got the Black Owned Beauty kit, one of the Sephora favorites. And this is a lipstick we're gonna try today from Pat McGrath. It's a freaking full size. This thing was like 30 something dollars. And the lipstick alone is like $30. So you're getting all of this, but you're also getting a full size of this Fenty mascara, which is what I wanna try. But then you get a deep conditioning treatment from Adwoa Beauty, a bread, it's a fragrance, right? Oh, it's a hair oil. I looked at that and just assumed, so that's pretty cool. The Fenty Skin Total Cleanser, the Briogeo Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioner. I love this stuff. And then a little retinol from Shawnee Darden. So we're gonna open it and try that mascara and that lipstick right now. But the, each purchase of this supports the 15% pledge. I can link a link down below with more information if you wanna look into it, but I think that's really, really cool. So look how nice. Okay. All right, we're gonna do the Fenty mascara. I think this Fenty mascara was also in another kit. It was like the full size, it was a different kit, but that's pretty cool. And this is like cute. I like the like light pink. Pink is my favorite color. Light pink specifically is my favorite color. So it's got more of a natural bristle brush. Oh, and it like flattens. So it flares out, but then it's flat that way. That's interesting. And this is their full frontal volume lift and curl mascara. I'll probably do the flat side to like deposit product and then like turn it to comb through it. I feel like these kinds of mascaras, you have to like practice how to best apply it, you know? And it might be different for everyone. It doesn't look bad at all. The formula feels soft and I don't know how to explain it other than that. Like I feel like when this dries and I touch my lashes, it will feel soft, which is kind of nice, but it's certainly not the most volumizing one I've ever tried. We're gonna do a second coat in a sec. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side. So I think my verdict so far is that this is not bad. Like the Believe Beauty one I just tried in my drugstore try on haul video earlier this week. That one, I really was like, no, this one is not bad. Like it still looks nice. It's just not a favorite because I know what I like with my lashes and I like them a little bit more volumized. Like I said, I still think it looks nice though. So I will keep using this, but it wouldn't be one I would feel like I need to get again. Who knows though? I was gonna say a lot of times like mascaras, once they dry out a little bit, like 
you start to really see the formula shine, but this one already feels like a little bit drier of a formula, which if that's what you like, sometimes that's what I like, if that's what you like, you might like this. Let me throw on a bronzer because I need something to warm this face up. So the blush we're gonna try is from Rose Ink. It's Rose Huntington Whiteley's brand, and it is their Blush Divine Radiant Lip and Cheek color in Heliotrope. I've heard really good things about this line. I really wanted to get the concealer and I didn't yet and I'm still thinking about it because when I mentioned that in the video and I already placed my order, so many of you guys said no, that concealer is amazing. I'm like, dang it. So I might eventually still buy it, we'll see. Oh, I have all this eyeshadow on my nose. Do you guys see that? How did I even get it all the way over there? I'm not even mad, I'm impressed. <laughs> so I love the packaging. I just think that's pretty. Definitely looks like a color I would typically go for. I might try it with a brush first and just see how that goes. Cause this feels like a little bit, it's still creamy, but it's not crazy emollient. So it might do best with a brush. I'm not sure yet that it looks like wildly different than other ones I've used, but it also, it's hard to tell. I'm like this foundation, I feel like makes my skin look so nice and even that it's hard for me to tell, is it this or is it the foundation that's making it look so nice? So again, that's why I test these things out. I do my speed reviews every other month with updates on all of this stuff because I mean, you know, I gotta use it more than once to know, but oh, okay, it is looking pretty though. I think I've got my <laughs> Christmas makeup look. I don't know where I'm going so crazy for Christmas. I'm just seeing family, but <laughs> this looks so Nice. So that was easy. I like when I have a cream blush I can use with my brush. I apply a lot of them with my fingers, but it's certainly easier and a little more mindless to do with the brush because you can be almost sloppier with it, but some formulas just don't work well with it. So this did, and I think it looks really nice. The other kit I got is their Sparkly Clean Kit. So I can't use this one now, and I still need to try it, the Merit Blush, which is honestly the main reason I got this whole kit because it was full size. But you also get the full size of this Tower 28 product and the full size of this milk product. But then I had been dying to try this Say kind of liquid highlighter. And then it also came with an Ilia mascara and it's the other Ilia mascara I hadn't tried. And I really like the Ilia Limitless mascara. So I want to at least see these things, maybe play with the highlight in there. And I appreciate that these are cute. Like they're like already wrapped. You know what I mean? Like stick a bow on this, put it under the tree for someone. So even the smaller ones, like this Say liquid highlighter, I'm like, I would never use more than this of any highlighter. Like it would take me a long time. So I don't even mind that this is this small because the full size would be way too much. Let's just see. I should stop calling it a highlighter because this, I would not really consider that a highlighter. It feels definitely more like a glowy primer or like a glowy mix-in type thing like MAC strobe cream, if you've ever tried that. Okay, it's called their Glowy Super Gel and Star Glow. So I think I just assumed, I mean, I could tap it on and it kind of will look like slightly dewy, but it's not gonna get, like it's not a true highlighter. So I might sit on that for a bit and not try it today, but I wanna know what the heck this Milk Makeup Color Chalk is. So you take it out of the thing and it's literally looks like, literally looks like chalk. Oh my gosh, look at that. What in the heck? It just like glides on. I guess I can get it on my finger and tap it on like a highlight. Let's try it that way. Cause I think if you went directly on, it'd be a little much, you know? Cause it's not like wet or creamy. Like it really does feel like a chalk, but then it's so creamy and, and pigmented. So it, it I, <laughs> I don't know how to describe it. I really appreciate that it has this little holder for it though, because I could only imagine how messy this would get. That looks real nice. You know what, actually, let me put this on my brow bone as well. This is the shade Hopscotch, by the way. But it just blends in so quickly. Like there's no blending time really needed. Well, I have never heard of this in my life and I am so, like that looks really pretty. So I'm super jazzed to keep using that. Let's at least swatch this Merit one because like I said, that was the one I was so excited about. This is in the shade Cheeky and it's just their cheek color, pretty. So I would assume I could, well, I don't wanna top it with this right now, but I'm assuming you can just put it right on and blend it. It might be almost easier to get a brush and put it on there and then put it on just so it's not so like starkly where you placed it. But I think the format of that is just so cute and unique and it's just kind of fun, you know, something different. It's kind of like though, if you think about it, the milk makeup sticks, you know, the thicker ones, if you just like lopped off the, the top of that, there you go. This Tower 28 product is a juice juice balm. It's their tinted lip balm. Feels really good. 
I might put this on just so you can see what it looks like. The color's kind of nice. It's a lot, it's very similar to my own lip color. It doesn't feel sticky. Kind of has a, I can't tell if it has a smell or if that's my makeup wipe I'm smelling. But this is in the shade Mix, if you were curious. That feels really nice. So another big daddy I bought that I was so excited about is the Glowish Luminous Press Powder. I have heard this is like truly luminous. So if you are not into that, you would not like this. But I have for years loved the It Cosmetics Celebration Foundation Powder, but I like the one that's the illuminating version. And so the fact that this is also an illuminating one, it makes me so excited. I don't feel like these are very common. Like powder foundations with illuminating quality is not unheard of, but it's, it's just not common. So I got the shade number one fair. I think it might be a little light for me but we'll just see. The packaging is kind of unique. It's got this square on the back, but then the actual product itself is on the circle. You know what I mean? And then it closes down, that's cute. I may have broken down and ordered <laughs> a couple more products <laughs> just the other day because <laughs> I was thinking about it and I was like, all right, there are a few things I know I need for videos. And then you guys reminded me that like, the Sephora collection was 30% off for every tier. And so I was like, okay, I know I'm doing a Sephora collection video. So I ended up buying some things for that video anyway. That's all. So I may have bought from this line, the blush that I'd originally taken off because it looks so freaking pretty. So it definitely has a little bit of a luminous quality. I wonder what it'll look like on my nose here, but it looks good. Like it's still got coverage. It's a powder foundation. So you're going to get coverage from it. And I'm, I'm kind of lightly putting it on, but you could like really put it on, you know, I feel like this would pair really well with something that does have lower coverage, like a BB cream tinted moisturizer, because you're going to get the coverage you want with this, but it's super fast, you know? And again, it's not going to look crazy dry if you have drier skin, because it does have that slight, slight luminous tint. I think if you have oily skin, you might not like it though, but I'm, I'm really digging it. I think this is a little bit more luminous than the It Cosmetics one I love, not in a bad way, especially in the winter where my skin definitely is its driest. This has been such an exciting haul. Oh my gosh. We're not done yet though. I want to try the Pat McGrath lipstick. I have already loved a Pat McGrath lipstick for a few years. It's in the shade Realness and it is, okay, first of all, the formula of this lipstick is so freaking creamy. I remember, I'll never forget the first time I ever put it on. I was like in the car, like why was that the first time I ever applied it? But I was in the car putting it on and I literally aloud said, oh my gosh. And Tyler was like, what's going on up there? And I was like, this lipstick is so pretty. So this one totally looks up my alley. This is in the shade Omi, number 107, and it's their matte trans lipstick. It's deeper than I thought, but again, talking about fall and winter, like this is my favorite time to wear this kind of thing. So I'm gonna wipe off this lip balm, but this is super comfy. I would put that in my purse and just wear it. It would be a total comfy, but pretty everyday lip color for me. I feel like I should use a lip liner. <laughs> All right, we're gonna use Creme de la Creme from Sephora. It's pretty close. It's not dead on, but I think it'll be close enough. One thing you could always do if you don't have lip liner, but you do have like a really small, thin brush is just get the lipstick on that brush and kind of line the outside of your lips. Because for me, I'm not usually using lip liner to like keep something from bleeding outside my line. It's usually because the line around my lips is otherwise gonna look kind of jagged, even like when I'm first applying it. So that is one thing like when I've been in a pinch, but I have like a small brush, I'll just put the lipstick on and then use the brush to kind of literally spread the lipstick to be the line. And it's just a little more precise. You know what I mean? I think that looks nice. I don't think it's my favorite color on me because I am fairer that I almost wish it had a slightly pinker tone. But again, that's a shade thing, not a formula thing because this formula is beautiful. I wanna keep playing with it. I wanna try this with a different lip liner because I do think this Sephora lip liner is just a little bit lighter than it so it doesn't quite line it the way I want but this formula man if you find a shade you like it is worth it. it's an expensive lipstick but it is totally worth it totally worth it I also think this would look better on you if you don't have as pigmented of lips like I do you would see the color better because sometimes darker lipsticks look a little odd on my lips I think because my lips are already darker does that make any sense so I guess I can take these out. I haven't actually done my hair today, you guys. This is a uh, air, it's clean, but it was just like air dried overnight. I'm trying to give my hair a break every few weeks from like 
blow drying and stuff so you know so if i were to kind of like rank ish the things i'm like the most excited about and the things i was like eh about this is definitely the most this is the winner of the video if you were like i'm gonna buy one thing jessica mentioned today i don't know why you'd be saying that if you were this is it baby this is it. it i have no notes for this but like i said well speaking of notes i will put my wear notes because in case this wears weird by the end of the day or anything i'll have that down in the description box but this is the winner by far i think the second place Ooh, this is kind of tricky. <laughs> I really just like this Too Faced palette. I really do. I'll keep playing with it and trying different color combos, but it's great quality. It's colors I know I'll use. I don't know that this is for everyone, but you know, the cream blush I think looks stunning on. And it feels like such a grown up cream blush. Can I just say that? Like, I know I'm a grown up at 32, but you know how like you don't always feel like it. <laughs> this makes me feel like a grown up, okay? but I really like the way it looks. The thing that like I think surprised me the most was this weird milk makeup chalk, color chalk. What the heck is this? But I love it, like it's so pretty. I feel like you could tap it on your inner corner as well. You could put it on your lid. Like I'm assuming you can just use it wherever and it looks so glowy, but just melts in perfectly. So that was the surprise of the video. I definitely am enjoying the waterline liner. It got a little bit down there, do you see that? a little bit but not enough that it's like turning me off i have some that really like instantly transfer down and then they don't last so again i'll put in the wear notes if this lasts in the waterline for me i'd love to try a different shade of the pat mcgrath but i see i don't even know because i the more i'm wearing this and like looking at it i act it has grown on me so i'm digging it and you already know i love the formula this mascara wasn't like it didn't blow me out of the water. It's not bad though. The Tower 28 balm I was digging and then the other things like I haven't really tried the Merit thing and stuff like that, nor have I really tried this Say highlighter that is to come. So I guess I forgot, I've got to show you the other things I got. I know you're like, Jessica, you got more? Yes. <laughs> so I don't remember if I even talked about this in that video, but I decided to get these. These are the Peace Out Acne Healing Dots. They're salicylic acid. I might not even be able to use these right now while pregnant. I just thought about it. You're not supposed to, so I might have to wait. <laughs> Jessica, that was dumb. And I knew that, anyway. Well, but the idea of these is cool because it's literally like a little stick on thing that has a salicylic acid in it that like overnight can work to like kill that zit. <laughs> and yeah, so I'm jazzed about that, but like I said, I'm gonna have to wait. But this. This is the Tatcha Indigo Overnight Repair. This I am so excited about. I told you guys I love the Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream. And this is like an overnight serum cream that's supposed to just make your skin awesome overnight, you know. <laughs> but I've been looking for something that's just like really great for that overnight period that I don't necessarily need to use every night. I don't even know if you can, like, are you supposed to? So it has ceramides in it, which my skin, I mean, it's just good for everyone, but it says it helps calm visible irritation, replenish the moisture barrier, and balance the microbiome. So it's a serum in cream. Look how pretty this is. It's like blue and it always comes with a little doodad to like scoop it out so you don't have to dig your fingers into it if you want to keep it more sanitary. It does say it only lasts six months from when you open it. I don't think there's anything skincare wise that I've tried from Tatcha that I was disappointed in. There's just a lot I've loved over the years and the makeup line like their primers and their like setting sprays those haven't always been my favorite but they're not always like perfect for my skin and what I like. So that's part of it, but I've really enjoyed their skincare. This sucker has like over four and a half stars, 873 reviews. So it doesn't say how often you're supposed to use it. So I assume you can maybe use it all night, but it says at night, use directly after cleansing or as the final step in your ritual. I always appreciate when brands tell you when the heck you're supposed to use it because you know, I'm like, well, is this supposed to be my serum or is it supposed to be my moisturizer? So the fact that you use it last tells me this is supposed to be like, your moisturizer. It's supposed to replace your nighttime moisturizer. And I've been looking for a new one to try and this just fits the bill and I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, totally using that tonight. I did buy a full size of the Herbivore Phoenix. This is their rose hip oil. I bought the smaller size, fell in love with it and I'm just so excited and also it's so pretty. Look how cute these look together. Mm. 
I'll be curious how these play together or if I wanna do it like every other night, but I think they would play okay together. My skin loves rosehip seed oil, so I'm not, and I've been using this, so I know my skin reacts well to this, so we'll just kind of play around with that. And then I did end up buying an eye cream. I was really going back and forth on a ton of them, but I ended up going for the Ren Brightening Dark Circle Eye Cream. This is really small and it was really expensive. I hope I like it. <laughs> the reviews were really good and they had some before and after pictures that were realistic that's kind of like i just feel like it was like you actually see a difference but they weren't so stark of a difference that you're like okay was that really did they just change the lighting did they you know they were realistic but you really could see a difference in like the darkness there so i'm gonna give that a try and then i also got this hair product it's from jisoo and it's their propolis infused polishing primer so it's supposed to diminish frizz reduce drying time so you put it into damp or dry hair by running your fingers through so i use this on my damp hair and kind of let it sit in there before i like go in with blow drying it and stuff so i'm excited and it's a brand i've never tried you know i tend to get stuck in especially with hair care i get stuck in what i like but this has that kind of like metal tube packaging that I just think is so cool. So yeah, I'm jazzed. The light pink is so pretty. Did repurchase the Makeup by Mario Master Pigment Pro Pencil in the perfect brown. I'm a black eyeliner gal, but this brown is so dark and the brown is better than their black in this line. And this is my favorite waterline eyeliner. So I know I got that new one and I'm testing it out, but this one does not budge. The black one I feel like budges a little. The, the perfect brown one is so dark and it does not budge and I practically use this up. So I got that and I love that it comes with a little brush so you can do like a little, like you can kind of pull the liner out to do a wing with it and it works really well that way. And then I also repurchased the NARS pencil sharpener. I was telling you guys this is not expensive and it is the best pencil sharpener. Like if you keep buying them because they break or they're just not good, like they're just not sharpening well, this will sharpen everything you own so well. It's got two different sizes on it and it's my favorite. I bought it again because I needed another one for here. Oh, and then I just got the Clinique Take the Day Off little cleansing balm. It was like a 100 point perk and this is typically what I use when I travel, this kind of a thing. And I love this stuff. So I'm always glad to get another one. It's something I almost always get when I see it's 100 points and I use them up. <laughs> what a haul, huh? <laughs> That was so much fun though. I hope you guys had fun kind of tagging along while I tried these out and just shared what I got. I am just ecstatic about all of this stuff. This has been a long time coming because I just kept waiting and there were so many things on my loves list and then in my cart and out of my cart. Uh, just things that I've been excited to try. I feel like there's so much new out and it's fun to kind of weed through and see like what really speaks to you, you know? So yeah, let me know what your favorite item in this haul was. Let me know if you did pick up anything during this Sephora haul. What was it? Do you love it? Like, have you tried it yet? Have you got it yet? <laughs> but other than that, I hope you'll subscribe, stick around. I do makeup videos like this all the time. I also do vlogs and stuff like that. We've got Vlogmas coming up soon. And yeah, that is all. I'll see you guys in my next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.